Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a very special episode of Not, Not Sun, Sun Bro, Bro Sunday? Sunday. Um, yeah. In case you couldn't see, the last episode of Sun Bro Sunday was highly embarrassing. So, I took the liberty of... This is going to be kind of a, a, an, a transit... Transitory part. Yeah, a transitory part. Transitional. Um, in case you're wondering why I'm here in the Undead Parish, it's because... Hey! Rhea's here! Rhea of Thorland. Once you rescue her, I guess she does make her way over here, even if you haven't beaten the boss of the Tomb of the Giants yet. So, that being said, since I'm the big jolly knight of awesomeness, and by the way, in case you're wondering why I'm wearing Ornstein's armor as opposed to my uh, Elite Knight set... Ornstein's armor actually is overall better until I really put some upgrades into it. I upgraded every piece of the Elite Knight set to plus three with Titanite, and it's still not as good as Ornstein's. So unless I'm willing to basically grind the shit out of Titanite, uh, easier said than done at this point, um, this is going to be my best option for right now. So I get to look like, like the awesome Ornstein, except I don't have his spear. Well, I have a spear, but I'm just not using it. Anyways, enough nonsense. Rhea, talk to me. Hello. I will never forget what you did. I am deeply indebted. For it was not within my power to save Vince or Nico. I cannot thank you enough. In case you have not heard, I am Rhea of Thoroughland. I only wish there was some way I could help you. But I am inexperienced, and I only know the art of miracles. If that could be of any help, speak to me again. Hmm. I'll take your thanks as an apology for being so rude to me when last we spoke. Talking to me like I'm some rabid dab dab. I'm not Riff Raff. I'm a big jolly... Sunbro! But enough nonsense, Rhea. You have miracles, I want miracles. Let's make a deal. Would a miracle be of any help to you? I would be most pleased if that were so. May we discuss miracles then? We may. So, um, enter covenant. Oh, oh, way of the white. Yeah, fuck that. I, I have no interest whatsoever. Purchase. She sells a divine blessing. Eh, why the hell not? Um, she also sells a talisman, which I have no need for because that's what I'm using right now. I actually need. Oh, shit. It's just now occurring to me that I do need to join the Blade of the Dark Moon Covenant because their talisman would be useful. Hmm. I don't want to buy their Great Heal excerpt. Um, it's really useless. When I could just buy Great Heal itself. Fuck the excerpt. Buy Great Heal. It has three uses, so... And I'm sure it, it, it heals more than enough. Everything else, um, I don't need another homeward. You only need one of those things. Force, heal, magic barrier, cover body and defensive magic coating, greatly boosts magic defense, assisting warriors who must face the magic which Bishop Havel countered so proficiently. Havel the Rock! Hmm, it seems he has a very strong hatred of magic, and he was a bishop of something. Oh well, too bad he's dead now. Oh well, I'll take magic barrier. That's kind of cool. Um, seat Guidance. This is kind of like uh, Clairvoyance in Skyrim. I, I... Well, maybe no. No, no. No, it's it's nothing like that. It just displays more guidance from other worlds. So I guess you'll see more soapstone signs. Not like uh, summonable signs. Not white signs, but like orange signs. Maybe. I don't know. Um, interesting. But the main reason why I am here to talk to Rhea is this. This is awesome. This is Wrath of the Gods. This is like Force ten times better. So, let's purchase that. And I think that's it for right now. So, Rhea, I will leave you. I'm not going to buy everything she has to offer because if you do, um... Well, yeah. As is the case with many NPCs, when they have nothing else to live for, they go hollow. And, you know, fancy meeting you here, princess! 
remember me? You know, I'm I'm a big jolly knight. I don't want to attack the princess. So, yeah. That being said, let's just talk. Prince Nico were fooled by a lout named Hatches and turned into hollows. My prayers did them no good. It is my ignorance, my frailty that has sealed their fates. Perhaps Petrus realized my weakness all along and thus made the decision to abandon me. What? I can hardly blame him now. Petrus abandoned you down there? Excuse me. Prince Nico. Oh, no, 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 no. Petrus abandoned. Then we said. He did not lose them. He just was like, no, no, no. Okay. I was going to be Mr. Nice Guy about this, but since since she actually said, I, I, I knew about it, but I forgot that she actually said that he actually did the abandoning. Um, I got a bone to pick with you, Mr. Petrus. Douche Bobbega Noosh, I'll teach you to screw with my princess. Oh, I'm sorry. Miracles, was it? Sometime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pay you no mind. Purchase item. I'll buy your stupid great heel excerpt even though you sell it. No, fuck that. No. I'll buy your seat guidance so I don't have to buy everything from Rhea. Hmm. I have a bone to pick with you, sir. Oh, so... No, 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 no. If I'm not mistaken, he's supposed to say something, and I'm forgetting how exactly he says it. Do I have to oh, buy so everything he sells? I prefer not to. I prefer not to be some enabler to this douchebag, but... Oh, you, you just don't want to talk, huh? You don't want to talk? Don't want to talk? Well, maybe you'll fight! Or I could not hit you at point-blank range. Oh, well. Hmm. No, 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 no. I have a much, much better way of dealing with scum like you. Here. Let's put the talisman on this hand. And on this hand... Well... Let's just embrace the magic that was taught to me by Darkstalker Koth. Give me your humanity, fuckface! Oh, no, no, no. I'm not done. I'm gonna suck you dry, you bastard. And what are you gonna do about it? Nothing! That's what! Nothing! Because you're a little bit- Oh, you're all out of humanity? Then I'm all out of reasons to keep you alive. It's been nice knowing you, asswipe. By the lords, you damn fool. Enough! No! You abandoned your lady? You die like a bitch! Give me that humanity. Oh well. That was fun. Now, for those of you who may be wondering why I just committed a sin there, and why uh, a moon bro can possibly find my ass and make me pay, um, Petrus will kill Rhea if you leave him alive after a certain amount of time. That's just what'll happen. He'll kill her, and you'll see her corpse at the, uh, at the altar in the undead parish. And you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sun bro. I'm a big jolly sun bro who, who believes in chivalry. Chivalry's not dead. So says me, anyway. So, yeah. Fuck you. I just killed you in the name of the princess. She's not a princess. She's just a lady. But whatever. Tomb of the Giants. Uh, we meet again, Trebek. And this time, I'm a little more outfitted. I'm a little more prepared. Who the fuck am I kidding? You are not prepared! Of course I'm not. Of course I'm not prepared for this shit. I'm never gonna be prepared for this shit, but it doesn't matter. It is 
a transitional episode. I don't plan on killing Nito, but I do plan on making some use of the situation that I'm in right now. And that starts by taking a nice little trip down here. Und... It's the ladder where I came from. Oh, yeah. You're up there. You exist, I forgot. Down here is hell. You know why down here is hell? Because down here we have a huge, crazy amount of uh, giant skeletons. Now, the nice thing is, if this camera would ever be nice... It's, it's not going to be And of course, Great Lightning Sphere is not going to happen. Right there is the Large Diviner. And, god damn. This would be so much easier if I had Pyromancy. It would. You? Don't! Go there? And why is my spear hitting like nothing? It's hitting the ceiling before I can even do anything. Alright. Well. You know what? Fuck the Dark Moon Seance Ring. That's a waste of a, of a slot right now. What I want... Ring of Steel Protection. Boost defense versus physical attacks. And, oh, I can get a free shot. I can, oh shit, no! There goes my free shot. Dude! I'm so close, I'm so close. But if I go down, I'm, 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 I'm a dead man. So, I'd rather not be a dead man. I just need... Manual aiming sucks. Manual aiming really sucks. There we go! If I can kill one... Okay, maybe not just one. If I can kill two... I think there's like six of these assholes down here. Hey! A two for one deal! was pretty awesome. Nice to know that I don't have to use my Great Lightning Spear, although there's really only a difference in a couple of digits. Oh shit, oh shit. Hello. Fuck. I'm surrounded again. I don't think so. I'm not afraid of the dark. The only one who's afraid of the dark is you. Because you are afraid of what's in the dark. And what's in the dark? Ow. It's a good thing I have that ring because that would have hurt like the dickens. What's in the dark? Damn it! Is you, but also... Oh, don't tell me I'm shish kebab between two of you. Fuck! I died. This is supposed to be a mid-episode, not me dying. Fuck! Tomb of the Giants! I swear I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you the next Sunbro Sunday episode, but for right now I'm preparing. So, Attune Magic, I'm done with this shit. Bust out the big fucking gun. Screw heal. Wrath of the Gods. I'm done playing around. I'm done messing around. I'm done playing like a child. I have a true miracle now. I have a miracle which will hopefully hit you. Who am I kidding? Of course it's not going to hit you. But I, I still need a, that better talisman. That would be nice. That would really be nice. So down here. And my shit is right there. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh, I didn't mean to fall down. Oh shit. I'm going to lose everything. No. 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 I don't think so. Run! At least get your shit. Soul of Brave Warrior. Yeah, okay. I'm done. I'm so dead. Well, it's 
been fun, guys. Damn it. Hmm. Oh, death after death after death after death. What am I gonna do with this place? This is bad! This is so bad! All I want is that ember, but it's guarded by a, a freaking militia of, of giant ass skeletons! FromSoft! I, I, I understand you guys are psychotic and, and maybe even a little satanic, but come on! This area sucks! Alright, this is what I was wanting to do. Does it have a high enough radius is the question. Yes! It does! Fuck all of you! How does that feel? God, I need more of those. I need to be on a new game plus 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 and buy like 50,000 of those things. Jesus Christ. That's awesome. I fucking love Wrath of the Gods. Am I close to anything? How many did I kill? I killed three of them, right? Okay. Well, if I jump down there, I'm a dead man. I'd rather not be a dead man, but if I must be, at the very least, what I'm going to do is this. Ring of Steel Protection, I have no need for this anymore. I'm putting on the Ring of Sacrifice. I'm making a suicide run to get that ember. So help me God, this had better work. No. No. I got it! And now I'm so dead! Large Divine Ember! I don't care. Go ahead and kill me, gentlemen. Or, wait a minute. Can I save the ring? I can save the ring! Oh, it's so awesome! And for your trouble, thanks for playing. Oh, what the hell. Owned! Who's the best? Well, after numerous attempts at trying, I'm the best. It's just you and me, boy. You and me. One on one with the great one. That's me. Great and lightning spear! Oh! You're done. Eat it! All of you! Alright, so now that I have the Great Lightning Spear, um, Great Lightning Spear, I've already had that for several episodes now. Now that I have the Large Divine Ember, I can go back to Andre and further reinforce this thing. Now, I'm at a bit of a crossroads but right now because I'm not sure that's what I want to do with the weapon at the end of it. I'm only going to need the Divine Multiplier for the remainder of this place. After that, I don't care. In fact, after that, it would be a little bit more advantageous for me to be carrying a certain God-killing upgrade instead, that being the Occult Path. So, for right now, um, my faith is at 40. That's fine and dandy. It can stay there. I don't need any more strength. I don't need any more dexterity. I just need more fucking health. Um... Uh, attunement would take too long to get to. So I'm going to boost up my vitality. I am now at soul level 89. That's a lot. That's a hell of a lot. But it's not enough. I need more. And not only do I need more, I need to kill something. I need to kill someone. Unfortunately, it's not going to be Patches. He is going to wait until later to go up to the surface. So, you, goodbye, I don't care. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Where is it, where is it, where is it? There you are, the body, soul of a brave warrior. I have an arrow in my back. That's fine and dandy, I don't care. Because here, Covet a silver serpent ring? Und? Guess what, guys? I now know the shortcut! 
Thank you, YouTube. You are a blessing in disguise, aren't you? Fuck! Oh, well. It was just a ring. It's not that important. Ring of Sacrifice shattered. Damn it! I swear to God, eventually this is going to work out to my advantage. Oh, I wasn't human anyway, so eh, it worked out. Offer humanity? Oh. So that was just a waste of a ring. It doesn't matter too much. Like I said, humanity and souls are of no value to me. It's just convenience purposes. Now there is one last thing that I want to end this fucking video on. And if I can repeat that performance... Oh shit. Um, the ring shattered, so I need something in the slot. Let's put uh, the Ring of Steel protection back on, actually. Now, I'm well aware that I'm missing out on the Ring of Favor and Protection, but I still don't know if I want to lock my two rings into that area of both Havel's Ring and the Ring of Favor. It's a real, real opportunity cost investment that you have to basically look out. Still don't know what I want to do with it, but that's fine. It's fine and dandy. You stupid bone towers couldn't hit the broad side of a barn, and apparently I couldn't hit the broad side of a freaking platform. So, let's try it this way. There we go. And now, the guest of honor, ladies and gentlemen, the boss of this episode of Sunbro, not Sunday. Wait for it. There he is. All right, comes up. Ready, guys. Let's do this. Leroy Oh my God, he just ran in. Leroy, you were just stupid as hell. God damn it, Leroy! <laughs> okay, that was fun. Oh well. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this little interim episode of Sunbro Sunday. It's not Sunday, but this is an interim episode. I had to get this out of the way. Um, so pick up the item, pick up the humanity, pick up the grant, pick up the sanctus. So it seems that Leroy was outfitted like a paladin. Too bad he never learned to play like one. God damn it, Leroy. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys have I hope you guys, guys, guys have enjoyed. Guys, guys. Uh, I'm going to be skipping a, a vast majority of that dark section. And that's how you do it. Uh, I'm, I'm happy that I finally learned the path. Because... Until now, Tomb of the Giants has been impossible for me to run through for myself. So, on the next e episode of Sunbro Sunday, I anticipate the downfall of Grave Lord Nito. Praise the big jolly sun, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. Let me know what you thought with your comments and feedback. And if you really enjoyed the video, I've got a slew of other projects going on that I update regularly. So if you're interested, please consider subscribing to stay up to date. Have a good day, everyone.